Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. It's about six o'clock in the morning. I think I'm the only one here. I'm gonna fish with lures sent in by subscribers today. Just a random Ziploc bag full of lures. Let's check them out. All right, here's what we're fishing with today. I don't remember exactly who sent us into the show, but I do keep all of the lures separated so I know which ones were sent in and which ones I purchased. This was definitely sent into the show, so let's get a worm or something out of here. Give it a try. This looks like a good one. So this is like a Senko stick worm on top, ribbed worm on the bottom. Perfect. We're gonna wacky rig this. We're just gonna roll this up to just in front of that split. The split's too small for the O-ring. The ring den is also too small for the O-ring. So we're gonna do it like this. Ready to go. Look at all these vultures. Must be a dead fish over there. These weeds look like a good place to start. Then we'll work our way down across the point and then down along the bank. This is one of the larger parks in my neck of the woods. It's always fun to come here because there's a lot of shoreline to cover. Let's just get started. When you're fishing from the bank, any kind of cover is a high percentage area. There's a few scattered weeds way over there. I'm gonna start here at the thick clump. Then I'm gonna fish over here at the dock. More cover, more weeds over there. You get the idea. Since I have a weedless wacky rig, I'm gonna fish it right near this stuff. Maybe even right through it. Cause I'm confident that it won't get hung up. See if I can get any attention with a wacky rig stick bait with the ring tail sent in by a subscriber. I mean, a bass could be in eight inches of water like where I just casted. You, you really never know. Don't be afraid to pitch it into those open pockets, even if they're right by the bank. I have caught a lot of bass right by the bank. And I'm not bombing it out there 50 feet, 100 feet. Most of the fish are gonna be 20 feet to the bank. Unless you're fishing offshore structure and trying to get it way out there to some rocks or something on the bottom, there's really no point in casting it way out there. Sure, you're covering more water, but you're also expending a lot more energy. High percentage areas, that's what it's all about. If I can't get anything on this wacky rig worm, I saw some other stuff in there, some craw flipping baits some curl tail worms. You can always try a Texas rig. I'm not afraid to switch things up if I don't get any bites. Rig like this sinks very slowly. See, there's not much weight, especially if that's a neutrally buoyant worm or a floating worm, it'll take even longer. Let's see what they're eating. Dead carp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven dead carp. I'm not sure why there are seven dead carp right here at the boat launch. 
They probably got bow fished and then dumped here is my guess. Ooh, bass fish. Nice and easy. These hooks are kind of fragile, so you gotta kinda go easy on them. Strong fish here. There we go. Nice big chunky bass. Yeah, that's a good one. Somewhere probably between two and a half and three pounds. Maybe a three pounder. Pretty good sized fish here. Nice and tall, pretty good thickness. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. Got him right over there in that super shallow water. Probably about four feet from the bank. Yeah, that's a nice, nice fish. Real happy to get this one this morning on lures sent in by subscribers. Good looking fish here, let's let it go. Sweet, there we go. Let's get another quick look at what I got it on. That's it right there. Nice fish too. This right here, I have no idea what this is. It's like a flipping bait with a skirt pulled through the center. We're gonna have to Texas rig this thing. There we go. We're gonna work backwards the same bank I just fished with the worm. See if we can get a different bite on the craw. Pretty slow morning. When you're not catching any fish, there's two things you can do. Change lures or go somewhere else. We're gonna go somewhere else. All right, I moved down to another spot. Let's see if I can get a bite on this flipping bait. So far, the bite's been pretty slow this morning. It's been pretty slow the last week. Yeah, look at these weeds. This That's hard. It'll break your line. I'm not sure if it's just really slow or if it's the color, but I haven't got one bite on this thing yet. We're gonna get rid of this flipping bait, go to a Texas rig worm, something from the bag. There we go. It's a little bit light, but we'll see if I can cast it. All right, good enough. Not even a bite, not even one stinking bite. All right, let's change to a new worm. Blue and chartreuse, straight tail worm, not doing it. All right, we'll go with this curl tail worm. It's kind of a pumpkin color with a chartreuse tail. There we go. Let's try that. Let's go back over here and try.
fish. All right, second fish of the day. Got him on that pumpkin colored worm. There we go. Feisty, feisty bass. There we go. Not very big. Somewhere in the half a pound range. But I'm happy to get them. Happy to have this bass on the show. Got him right out there at the edge of the weeds on that pumpkin chartreuse tail worm. Been through there with a craw, been through there with a straight tail worm. Finally saw that pumpkin worm, he was like, yum. Sharp little teeth for this little bass. All right, let's let him go. Nice. All right, time to go. But I did get one bass over here. That's two for the day so far. All right, I'm at the third and final spot for today. It's been a slow morning, but I'm getting it done. I got two bass so far on subscribers lures. Let's see if I can get one more. All right, here we go. It's a perch pattern, which is not matching the shad pattern that we have out here. But who knows, it still might work just because of the action and the fish profile. Well, how did I do on the subscriber lure challenge? Out of five lures, I caught fish on two of them. The wacky rig Senko and the Texas rigged curl tail worm. Not too bad. A little slow. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. There we go. It's a perch pattern. Look at it, it's got two eyes.